G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious algebra question for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. Let A, B and C be numbers with 0, less than A, less than B, less than C. All right, so I've got some positive numbers, A, B and C, with I guess what A the smallest, B is the middle, C is the largest. Which of the following is impossible? So we're in five things, things like uh, A is A plus C is less than B, A times B is less than C, and so on. So apparently one of these five things is impossible, cannot be done, cannot be true. All right, okay, it looks a little, looks a little scary, this makes me a little bit queasy, but let me think about this. We've got three numbers, A, B, and C. They're all positive, so it doesn't hurt just to put down the information in my own version. There's my own version of they're all positive. With this one being the smallest, this one's being the biggest, and B is the middle number. So one of these things can't be true. Which one? Hmm. Well, you know, I'm feeling a little nervous. I've got nothing to actually hold on to. I've got no numbers to hold on to right now. This is like pure algebra. But what I'm going to do, if I feel like doing strategy number 10, which is like go to extremes. I'm going to choose some really, really small numbers, some really, really big numbers. Let's go to real extremes and see if that sheds light on everything. So maybe A can be something like, I don't know, 0.001, I don't know, a thousandth or something. Uh, is that a thousandth? No, that's, that's a ten thousandth. Some small number, but it has to be positive. Positive small number, and let's make C some big number, I don't know. Let's make it 10,000 or 100,000. Does that help? Does that shed light thing in these extreme cases? For example, oh, oh, for example, yes. I don't know why my brain just went to part B. 0 0.0001 times something could be less than 100,000, like if B was one. So this is actually possible. That might actually happen. But the question wants, which of these are impossible? Oh, impossible. If that can happen, then B is not that possible answer. Haha, <laughs> good. Uh, what about this one? A plus B is less than C. I don't know, uh, 0 0.001 plus something. Maybe B is like 1 or something. It will be less than 100,000. This one is possible. And we're not looking for possible, we're looking for impossible. Oh, I'm ruling things out. So actually, that's a good strategy. Going to extremes has actually made some of these quite clear for me. So but I'm going to leave the rest of this for you. I think it's still got A, D, and E. We've got three more options to explore. Which of these are possible? In which case, cross them off our list, because we're looking for the one that's impossible. So try it out. Think about it. Which of these three left is impossible? And when you get an answer, check with the answer in the essay that goes for this video. This is actually kind of cool stuff. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.